This is Project Polar Bear, and this is our makerspace, where we make and digitally design for Project Polar Bear. We set it up just for this project, but we still use it for lessons. Project Polar Bear is an AI-enabled bin made for younger children, which scans your rubbish and puts it in the right bin. We've been working with a parent called Shane, who was former CFO of Skyscanner. He was responsible for the biggest tech takeover in the UK at its time. I used to work with a company called Skyscanner. It was a tech company that was growing really quickly. Uh, when I started, we had about 50 people. When I left, we had about 1,500 across 12 offices. So I think your project's fantastic. I was looking at it here and how it helps people sort their waste and to yeah. know which areas to go into. Um, I think there's probably two things either you could sell it in, but you then want some sort of maintenance contract to go with it. Project Polar Bear has five key members in its team who are all doing a range of jobs and tasks. I am going to be interviewing them. This is Charlie, whose makerspace name is Chazza. He does hardware and 3D printing for Project Polar Bear. When he did 3D printing, he had to go through seven prototypes until he had the right one for Project Polar Bear. I've made the bin lids opening, the code associated with that, the bins in the stand. And what certain skills will you keep for the rest of your life? Timekeeping and perseverance, definitely. And Python will be a very big head start. This is Finn, whose makerspace name is Fish. He specialises in assembling and making the stand of the AI bin for Project Polar Bear. So my role is a general helper to the Raspberry Pi operation. So if anyone needs anything or needs to break anything, I can be there to complete it so they don't have to stop what they're doing to do it. I've learned to work with other people instead of doing my own work. Hi, I'm Laurie. I'm the media guy. My job is to do this video and all the other social media posts. Um, I don't trust anyone at the moment to film me right now, so I'm selfieing it. Um, I've learnt that coding people, like Charlie, need to rely on me and other people who don't have as much as an important job as them to work on our job so that when we finish, we can submit it along with their work. And now, the toughest job of all has been given to Tom, whose makerspace name is Tim. He's been assigned to build and train AI along with GUI. Oh, and this is Mr. Pook, who's camera shy. So the GUI, I use something called GUI Zero, which is a great tool in Python. Uh, for the AI, I had to use TensorFlow, and uh, it was horrible to install. The, it was probably the worst part installing it because for Raspberry Pi there's a bunch of different stuff which you need to do and it's basically, in short, hell. We've given the role of project management to Harry, whose makerspace name is Barman. As project manager, he orders people around and tells people what to do. What has been the hardest challenge you've faced as being project manager for Project Polar Bear? As project manager, it's been really hard to keep people on time um, and it's because they don't like being told what to do by someone their age because they feel like it's just wrong. So, why are you doing that now? I thought we were doing that later. Now that we've finished Project Polar Bear, we thought that we'd test it. This is the Young Years classroom before we added the AI bin with a paper-only bin filled with general waste. But here is a tidy classroom with pupils coming up to scan their items, which they then put in the bin. At the very start, we wanted our project to be environmentally friendly. So we took pallets we found around the school and that we originally were going to burn and used them for our project. Do you remember that camera shy teacher, Mr. Pook? Well, we found footage of him teaching with his receding hairline, which he blames on us. Through the Makerspace and Project Polar Bear, we've got Mr Pook, our computer science teacher, to broaden the computer science curriculum. And we have inspired people to come in their free time to create. We already have multiple teams ready for next year.